So we're going to make our Android app in a programming language called Java. Let's get our feet wet with a few basic commands. If you've never written any code before, programming is really about working with information or data. One of the most basic data types is simple text. And text in Java is represented by a data type known as a string. It's called a string because we're stringing characters together, like a banner hung at a party. Here, let's look at another example. Here we have a line of code that declares a variable as a string and sets it to my own name. In Java, you can think of a variable as a container that you can name and then store data in. Variables are common to almost every programming language because it makes it really easy to hold on to data that you want to reuse later. If you want to display a piece of data in multiple places, variables make it easy because you only have to set that data in one place. It also makes it really easy to change the data because then you only have to change it in that one place. Then that change is reflected throughout the rest of your code. The first word in this line of code, string, is the data type of the variable. And it tells us what kind of data will be stored in this variable. We'll look at a lot of different data types like numbers, yes or no values, and dates, and in each case, there is a special keyword, like string, that tells the computer what kind of data to expect. The second word is the name of the variable. We can name variables whatever we want according to a few basic rules. Use letters and numbers, don't start with a number, and don't use any special characters besides underscores. OK, so far we have a variable named my name that we set to hold string data. So let's put a string in it. In Java, as in many programming languages, Strings are represented as text surrounded by double quotes. In this case, the text is my name, and I make it a string by adding the quotes around it. We then use the equal sign to put this string into the variable, or in other words, set my name equal to Ben. Now, the last thing you'll notice in this line is the semicolon. Semicolons in Java are kind of like periods for sentences. We use them to mark when we're done saying something. Each statement or command in Java must always end with a semicolon. That tells the computer that we're done with this step and ready to move on to the next one.